another video. Today is the match reaction for Swansea City versus Nottingham Forest. It's finished full time at the Liberty Stadium, Swansea City 1, Nottingham Forest 0. So let's get straight into it. Um, so obviously it was a really cagey affair first half, likewise in the second half leading up to the goal. But um, you know, it's a massive result for us. Brentford lost as well. Um, so that means that now we can keep um, we're keeping up the pressure on them. Obviously Norwich did win the game, but we're still keeping up the pressure because we go ahead of them if we win our games in hand. And now we could even go better. Uh, uh, ahead of Brentford before we play both of our games in hand, which is good. And it was Zach's repeat of the uh, away fixture at Forest. 1-0 win, Connor Roberts header. So it's pretty much replicated the first uh, game away against Forest today at home. So, yeah, it was an excellent performance from all the lads and an excellent win. And if you're wondering what game I'm watching behind, I'm watching Everton City. Currently one all for anyone's wondering about that. But yeah, excellent win for the Swans. And um, Luke, what's your thoughts? Yeah, it was a, a great win for us. Obviously, we're obviously we still got um, two um, two games to play. As um, obviously Brentford are on thirty games, we were on we were on twenty at the time, so we still got two games in hand. And obviously, that win against Forest was a massive, massive win for us. Um, I think now we actually have joint points, joint on points of Brentford. I'm pretty sure now, so um, that's obviously pretty good. Yeah. Um, and obviously, a late goal from Roberts, um, a decent finish. Um, but you know. A bit, a bit of a shame how we couldn't get um, like another goal maybe because it was just a bit of a cagey game really just end to end football all the time throughout the game. Um, being completely honest, I think the draw for both teams would have been the fair result, but obviously I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. So yeah. yeah, I'm really really happy with that result. And I thought um, I've seen but uh, um, an excellent performance. Yeah, obviously Forest fans will, be, will feel really hard done by because they played really well, to be fair, and it probably should have been a draw would be a fair reflection. But we've beat Forest now three times this season, obviously won all in the league, both times at 5-1 in the Cup, but now on to ratings. So starting off for the goalkeeper, Woodman, um, I'm going to give him an 8, would you agree with that? Yeah, I'd go with an 8, as, as he kept a clean sheet as well, so and they had quite a lot of shots as yeah, well, so solid. I think that's um, a good yeah, goal reflection there. Yeah, and then the two full backs, Roberts with a nine, and I'm going to give Bidwell a seven. Would you agree? Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, and then the three centre backs, Gehi, Norton, and Bennett. They were the three that started, so I'm going to give Gehi an eight, Bennett an eight, and Norton a six. What, what would you give them? Um, yeah, I think I'd give um, yeah, Gehi an eight, um, be yeah, Bennett a seven, and Norton a six. Yeah, so now on to the two midf old midfielders, Grimes and Fulton. Um, I'm going to give Grimes a 7. A uh, bit of a quiet game, but not bad at all. And then Fulton, 8 as well, would you agree? Yeah, yeah. And then um, Cam Spot was Conor Horan. I thought he was quite quiet. I'm going to give him a 6. Not bad, but for his standards, quite quiet. Would you agree? Yeah, I'll give him, I'll give him a 7, I think. Yeah, and then... Obviously up front, I and low. This is hard because both of these players weren't really involved as much as you'd usually see them. Neither of them were bad. Um, I don't really think there was a bad performance from anyone, but you didn't really see much of what you used to for them. I don't think Ayu had a single shot. Um, I don't think Low did either. And obviously Lowe got taken off. But um, you know what? I'm going to give... I'll give them both a six because they were, they were both average. They weren't bad or weren't good, but what would you give them to? Would you agree with me on that? Um, yeah, either both six or both seven. They were, they were quite quiet to be honest. They didn't really create anything up top, but at the end of the day, we won the game, so it doesn't really matter anymore. Yeah, and then obviously the three subs that came on, it was Morris, Ariola, and Smith. Uh, Morris, he changed the game up really well when he came on, to be fair to him. Um, I would have given him a five, but thinking back on it, he did actually have an impact on the game, holding up the ball, taking it out wide, slowing down the the game after we got the goal, and even building up to the goal, he was really good. So I'm going to give him a six. Ariola, I'm going to give him a five. Um, obviously, he didn't really have much to do. And same with Smith, I'm going to give him a five. But yeah, what would you give the subs? Yeah, I feel yeah, I feel I'll give him all those reins, to be honest. Um, I thought they were all uh, half decent when they came on. Um, and yeah, I agree with you that Morris did actually kind of change the game in a way as well, so um, yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. agree with those wins. Yeah, so Morris 6 and then Ariel and Smith yeah. 5. So now finally on to Man of the Match. For me, there's only one winner. It's got to be Conor Roberts. Not only the goal, but about five minutes before the goal, there was a counter-attack about three on one. Roberts was the last man back and he defended it, which yeah. they could have scored and probably should have scored as well. So if it wasn't for him, they could have gone 1-0 up. But no, he kept us in the game and then went on and won us the game. But yeah, who's your man of the match? 
you know, I gave it to Alex for the goal and for the way he played throughout the game before he actually played a lot. Um, well, I'd, I'd also, I think I'd also give it to, um, well, either, I'd, I'd also give it to Woodman because I thought he had, um, well, obviously kept a clean sheet, made some decent saves at times, which, um, so far had some dangerous ta attacks. Um, so I'd say he's probably up there in the discussion for the man of the match, but I think I, I can see why he chose Roberts to do it. Yeah, so obviously that's it for this match reaction. We'll be back for our uh, preview for our next game on the weekend. So uh, mm. stay tuned for that and thanks for watching. Yeah, cheers.